Hi, my name is Victor. I'm a Partner Operations Manager working on Hotel Ads. In this video, I'll be going over some of the tools in your Hotel Ads dashboard to help you troubleshoot and improve your price accuracy score. When troubleshooting price accuracy, you always start by checking your current score in the Hotel Ad Center dashboard. Click the Price Accuracy tile to get more details on what's contributing to your score. Some mismatch issues fall into the undetermined price mismatch bucket. This means Google isn't sure what's causing the mismatch between prices on your website and prices in your feed. You can use data in your account to diagnose these issues on your own. Starting by scrolling down to see sample itineraries where Google has seen a price mismatch. Let's walk through how to diagnose four types of undetermined mismatch errors. Starting with price freshness mismatches. To begin, sort your data in descending order by the column heading price freshness. Look to see if you have more than 10 rows with price freshness greater than one day. As you see in this example, the price accuracy suffers because they have many itineraries with prices that are over six days old. This means they are not updating their price feed frequently enough. Ideally, you should update your price feed every time a price changes or at least once per day. Next, we'll look at using the Advanced Purchase window to spot patterns. To begin, sort by Advanced Purchase window. Look for future booking windows with 10 or more rows of itineraries clustered around them. As you can see in this example, when you have a lot of price mismatches around a certain window, it can indicate that there's an issue with your process for submitting prices around that booking window. Let's move on to taxes and fees mismatches. For this, you'll need to add additional columns of data. These extra columns give you more data to sort itineraries by so you can spot patterns and identify the root cause for your price mismatches. Add three new columns to your view. Taxes and fees fetched, taxes and fees from feed, and taxes and fees price deviation. You can optionally uncheck other columns so your data displays nicely in the table. Click the column heading Taxes and Fees Price Deviation to sort. Once your itineraries are sorted, look for large price deviations between the taxes and fees Google fetched and the taxes and fees submitted in your feed. Discrepancies can indicate if taxes and fees were left out of your feed or if they were not synced between your systems. Now let's look at base price mismatches. Once again, use the drop-down menu to add columns to your view. Select Base Price Fetched, Base Price from Feed, and Base Price Deviation. Click Base Price Deviation to sort and identify itineraries to share with your tech team to investigate. You can also click Total Price Fetched and sort in ascending order. If the fetch price is $0, it means this itinerary was not available on your site. Your system should have updated the price to negative one in the feed to indicate no availability. And that's it. We've now covered the main ways to troubleshoot your price accuracy score using information in your Hotel Ad Center. 